Bernoulli Family by Holly Bradley. Who were the Bernoullians? Why are they important? And what do they do for the history of math? In this video, I plan to answer your questions while give you an insight to the history of the Bernoullian family. Although the 17th and 18th century had many great mathematicians, no single family had as many influential members as the Bernoulli family. There is thought to have been as many as eight great mathematicians within the family during this time, but three stand above the rest. Their names are Jacob Bernoulli, Joanne Bernoulli, and Daniel Bernoulli. I will talk about all three individually and explain their individual successes. Joanne Jacob Bernoulli. Jacob was the oldest son of Nicholas Bernoulli, a well-known businessman in Basel, Switzerland. Although his father wished him to study theology, his passion for mathematics directed his life. To the right is a picture of Jacob Bernoulli. The successes of Jacob's life. In 1685, Jacob wrote one of the first papers over the probability theory. Due to this paper, Jacob is thought to be one of the pioneers of probability. In 1687, Jacob was appointed to a chair in mathematics at, at Basel and occupied the position until his death in 1705. In 1694, Jacob published his solution to finding Isquiance Curve. Although Jacob had many mathematical discoveries, he was not perfect. This is shown through his relationship with his little brother, Joanne Bernoulli. Although the two started off well in a mentoring setting, their arrogance got the best of them. They began a lifelong dispute over which was the more advanced mathematician. Later, Jacob went to criticizing his little brother in public. Joanne Bernoulli. Joanne was one of incredible intelligence, advanced abilities in mathematics, and extreme arrogance. To the left is a picture of Joan Bernoulli. In the late 1600s, Joanne presented the Brandtron problem to the mathematics of the world. The Brandtron problem was a calculus problem so difficult, he gave the mathematicians six months to solve the problem. Only six mathematicians responded to the problem with the correct answer, including Joanne himself. After the problem was presented, he then showed how he solved the problem using calculus of variations, opposed to the ordinary calculus with dealing with functions. Joanne then conflicted with his son, Daniel Bernoulli, over the stature of whom was the better mathematician. The conflict was a result of both Joanne and Daniels winning the first place in the 1734 Paris Academy. Joanne, enraged with the thought of being intellectually equal with his son, kicked his son out of his house and forged his name onto Daniels' work. Daniel Bernoulli. Daniel was the son of Joanne Bernoulli. He had been influenced by mathematicians in such a way that he also followed the path for his life. Unlike his father and uncle before him, he was also an inventor. To the right is a picture of Daniel Bernoulli. Daniel's successes. Daniel was known for his interest in the way motion works. Some of his, of his most famous sets of work were when he showed how to resolve a compound motion into motion of translation and motion of rotation. In 1738, Daniel's most recognizable discovery was published stating the consequences of a single principle of conservation of energy. Through these discoveries, he was able to invent a sea hourglass that could withstand the rough conditions at sea. This invention was the purpose for his tie winning with his father in the 1734 Paris Academy. Although the hourglass is not exactly what Daniel C. Hourglass looks like to the left, it worked in the same way.
parts of sand would fall through the hourglass measuring the distance of time. The Bernoullis. Although this family was blessed with brilliant minds, one can only imagine what could have happened if they were able to see past their pride and work together. Despite their disputes, they made a positive impact on mathematics. Here are my sites.